Hi friends, Tracy here from The Sewing Channel. You're here today because you wanna make a dress for Project Dress A Girl? That's so awesome. Maybe you're just here to make a t-shirt dress, and that's awesome too. <laughs> if you wanna make this cute little dress right here with the ties on it, click the link in the top right hand corner. It'll take you right to Maddie Sew's tutorial on how to make it. Maddie is the one who is spearheading the Project Dress A Girl Drive here on YouTube with all of the content creators and viewers just like you. It's important to note that knit is not as durable as woven cotton. It may be best to sub out the knit for the bottom with some cotton. Not only am I going to show you how to make this easy t-shirt dress right here, I'm going to show you how to make a hidden secret pocket within the pocket. If you stay to the end of today's tutorial, you'll see some extra video of my Josephine running wild outside in her t-shirt dress. Enough talking already. We have little girls to dress. <laughs> I picked up this t-shirt for size 5 toddler at Walmart. I measured from the armpit down to the bottom hem and then I went one third down from the armpit, which was a few inches. I sliced that straight across. We need to square up a piece of fabric from that bottom of the t-shirt. That's going to be our pocket. I'm going to mark a W on the wrong side of this fabric so you know what I'm working with here. The top of the pocket must be folded down first, then the bottom of the pocket lift that up over top of what you just folded. So right down those sides. You can see there that I chose to serge mine. Now turn it right side out. Set the hidden pocket aside and we'll deal with that here in a minute. The technique for the hidden pocket on the cotton or woven fabric is very similar to the knit pocket. Watch how I make a few simple folds here. Fold the top down about an inch and a half or so, and then you'll lift the bottom up to meet the top. Be sure to put that top flap over that bottom flap, and then give everything a good memory crease. Flip it over to inside out. And where you made those creases, it's going to be sort of weird to do this, but recrease it now the opposite way. As you put your clips in, you need to take note that now that top flap has to be under instead of over the other flap. Now pop some pins all over and especially on the sides. Next you're going to take it to your serger or your sewing machine and sew down the sides. Now take it right side out. Give everything a good hot press. I sewed my pocket on with one big stitch right down the center. And there you have it, one hidden pocket. When making garments and using knit, we need to make sure that we use the stretchiest part of the fabric going horizontal, just like you see me stretching there. That needs to go across the body horizontally. If we went the other way, it wouldn't stretch very nicely around our body. So the stretchiness in my knit stretches from salvage to salvage. Take your knit and fold it salvage to salvage. And then you're going to fold it from the fold mark over to both of the salvage edges. Fold the shirt in half. Look at the arrow first. The folded edge and the skirt edge should be nice and straight. Add approximately one inch past the edge of the shirt there on the skirt. Line your ruler up on that one inch past the shirt and then pivot approximately three inches out. This will give us a nice A-line effect on the bottom of this dress. Slice it right down the side. Now I pretty much guessed on the length here and it was about 13 inches. And then just take the bottom off. You should end up with two identical pieces that are both A-lined. So far, so good. Place both skirt bottoms right sides together. I added two knit ties into both sides of this skirt at one and a half inches wide. You can see here, I pulled down the skirt top and then I just laid the tie in one side and laid it in the other. And then I'm going to lift that, the top of the skirt back up and then I'm going to pin those ties right in place so I can sew them easily. Back to the serger I go to sew down both sides of this A-line skirt. My serger is just awesome. I, I don't know how I lived without it before. Okay, everything's coming together really quick. Now turn to one of your side seams. It's time to put that secret pocket in. 
Make sure that your pocket is facing the right way. The secret should be toward the top. I'm adding a knit tie right on the top area of where my pocket is, but I'm going to attach it to my skirt. The other knit tie I'm going to add to the pocket, but I have to be careful not to sew that knit tie through the layers of the pocket. Pin those ties down where you're going to sew them and then it's time to take it to the sewing machine and just put a few tack stitches in. Just like magic, that one's all sewn down. Now to sew the one onto our skirting. And there you have it, just like magic again. And you can see the side tie there, it's above where I just tacked that down. Now I'm going to center my pocket right on that side seam. Pop a bunch of pins in your pocket so that nothing ends up shifting. And you're going to sew from the side across the bottom and then back up the other side. Make sure that you don't sew across the top though where the ties are. And just in case, I tied mine right there and tucked them. One word of caution when you're at the sewing machine doing the pocket on the side, you have another layer of the skirt underneath. So I took my sewing bed off so that my free arm was there. And that did help to make sure that I didn't sew on top of the other side of the skirt. This little pocket is so darling. So you can see here, I put my hand in and then here's the secret pocket. I can only imagine what that little girl will be putting in this pocket. Hopefully it's some money or some gum or something. She'll find some treasures, I'm sure. Turn the skirt inside out. The right side front of the shirt should be touching the right side front of the skirt. So we have to take the shirt and slide it right inside of the skirt. Line up both side seams first and pin them. And then you'll just pin all the way around. Since both the skirt and the shirt are both knit, it's going to work out perfectly. So if we're off in measurement a bit in either the shirt or the skirt, you can always pull one to the other slightly when you get to the serger or the sewing machine. Once both pieces are connected securely, go ahead and turn it right side out. And you don't have to, but I did put a top stitch all around the waist area. This dress was super easy and super fast. Friends, I know you can do it. I have faith in you. Until next time on the Sewing Channel, take care.